my mother and father were married in a little uh, wee country church in Manitoba. They had a family of six. So there were three boys and three girls, of which I am of the family, I am the youngest. I had three of those brothers. They were a rambunctious bunch, as shown in the picture, the, sitting on the fence. In the background is a machine shop. My father did fix a lot of machinery. Also had a chap used to come and shoe horses there. And the shop was a glorious place because there were all sorts of old things in it. Uh, when I, Irene and I got a little older, we used to have to get up in the morning and uh, get dressed and go out to the barn and milk the cows. And this shows my sister all dressed up, ready to go, with our favorite dog and the farmhouse you can see behind that I grew up in. And my brother was very fond of horses. We had quite a number of them, but the only one colt was ever born, and my brother was very proud of it, as shown in the picture. He made a pet of it. The school that I went to was about four miles away. This was the uh, school that I went to from grades one right up to finish my grade 11. There were just two rooms in it and an excellent teacher that I started with. When my uh, brother was uh, 16, he ran away from home and uh, worked across the country, even in the mines. He was too young, but he lied about his age and worked in it. But then he joined the Air Force in Toronto and did get home very briefly on leave at harvest time. And we harvested all day and everybody got dressed up and went to the town of Nipua, which was about 17 miles away, and had our pictures taken. So that, uh, and that was the last time that we ever saw my brother. The other brother, Leonard, had uh, been in the, and was in the army, and uh, was home on leave as well. So we're a, a sad looking bunch, but the, we were all pretty tired, but we were very happy to have the picture taken. My sister and I uh, went to a normal school together, uh, and uh, so I left home when I was 17, and uh, she was 19, she, but she had been, uh, what would they call them? She had taught school on her grade 11, because they were so short of teachers. And uh, so she was, uh, so I kind of caught up to her so that we went to normal school together. So I've been away from the farm since I was 17. But uh, I taught school after uh, got married and had two little girls. It's a long story, really. <laughs> so I think we'll maybe leave it there. <laughs>